We started the day in Rocky with a 20k bike ride and a 5k run. So here we are in Rocky and uh, lost. Did we come out of this street? Next one. Small town and we don't know where we are. I think it's this one, Honey Barker. Doesn't matter, it's tape a week. I don't think this is it. Just running along this path. I saw Tim head in this direction, but not sure if he took the path or not. Doing uh, five k's, obviously. Second and fourth k's will be a little bit of a tempo. <laughs> Where the hell did that come from? Man, wow, I was not expecting that. The bike's back on. That's it, we're done. Have some noon? Yes, please. What's good is it's still got coffee in there, so we've got a coffee flavoured noon. 4.25 pace, I felt fantastic. I didn't think I was running that fast. I was trying to get into my half Ironman pace, but shit if I could do that. And how was the bike? So the bike, I felt strong. The 5k run, 2 and 4 were at tempo, and I was just planning, you know, maybe 540 for those, but just started running, felt great, and my easy ones were 540, and my tempo kilometres, one was 503 and one was 457, so I haven't run a sub 5 for a long time. So feeling really good. I feel really comfortable, really strong. Can't wait for Sunday. All right, we've stopped at a rest area about halfway between Rocky and Mackay. So we've got about 330k today, but actually we might stop at Serena, so only 300k. Four shops in Rocky. Alright, we've got some questions to answer, so thanks to everyone who asked us questions. So our first one is from someone in Childers. So the question is, how do you guys deal with pain, shin splints, muscle pain, etc. throughout your training? They're currently training for their first ever triathlon and keep on having issues despite trying to manage them. Well, you probably won't like this. In my case, I go, I've had an injury for a day. I'm like, that's it, I've had enough, and then I get better. You do, you recover quickly. <laughs> so, I, um, I think in my case, it's probably, I, I like to think it's managed well from food, like I'm pretty healthy, and regular like massage or yoga or something, or strength or something like that, that's just a regular, you know, keeping your body at its best. That works for me. I, uh, people who follow our channel will know I've had terrible calf injuries over the years. In fact, 12 tears in two, two and a half years. So I had six months off running and I run with compression sleeves and I always have at least one rest day in between running. And also I haven't been doing any really any speed work because I've found the quicker I ran, I was more prone to injuring my calves. So... That's how I manage it, yeah. hence the half Iron Man. <laughs> I think everyone's different. You have to unfortunately find what find works, what for, works you. for you. So, Cindy Maloney asked, Do you plan to do a full Iron Man in the future? Quick answer No. <laughs> my answer is, I've actually, uh, my answer is yes, I am going to do a full Iron Man. I have done one, I did Cairns in 2018, and we were only talking about this yesterday that um, I'm almost mentally ready to do another one and I've picked it and I'm going to do Taupo in 2023. 
so it seems like a long time away but after these this week and cans we're going to put a video out next week about our plans for the rest of the year and so so then you'll understand how that fits in oh, next question Steve Davies actually wants to, um, his question is, are you doing a meet and greet? He wants to join in with a chorus of your speak, squeaky chain. So I did a long vlog on my training week and I had a squeaky chain and I wrote a song. So thank you, Steve, for listening to, at least I know you watched the whole video because it was like almost 20 minutes long. Uh, mate, we'd love to meet up. So send us a message via Instagram or one of the socials and we'll, we'll meet up in Cairns for sure. And from Lauren, um, we've had a good chat with Lauren on Instagram often, so we're looking forward to seeing you, Lauren. We'll see you in a couple of days. Um, my, her question is, do you think you would be as motivated or dedicated without each other, or if only one of you were a triathlete? Good question. Yeah, good question. Definitely more motivated together, 100%. Yeah. yeah. We, we both did tries yeah, we both previous did, to yeah. meeting, but... Uh, absolutely. If one's feeling a bit shitty, the other one gives you a kick in the ass, says, come on, we're going training. So, 100%. Yeah, I think you understand what the highs and lows of triathlon training and racing with someone else who actually does it. So, that makes and it really easy. We know if we're going to do a three, four hour training day, that the rest of the day will be spent <laughs> laying on the couch, and we're both good with that. <laughs> yeah. A non athlete partner has no clue. And we've had both had that. How that is. So, yeah, 100% better. Thank you. So thanks for those questions. That was really cool. Uh, it was great to see so many coming through. Uh, if you've got a question for us, we'll be answering it in tomorrow's video. So make sure you put it in the comments below.